I'm in the HP booth with Larry Mahoney and uh, Jeff, Jeff Wood, both from HP. And uh, you got some crazy stuff to show us here today. What is this? So this is HP Sprout. It's our Im immersive computer platform that was announced in October. It's a consumer product, and we're launching it in the commercial channel this month as well. It's a, it's a high-performance all-in-one PC running Windows 8.1 with the addition of a touch-sensitive mat um, as well as a projector and cameras. And it allows you to do a, a whole host of different things. This is just one application called a virtual DJ app. Okay, hang on one quick second. This yeah. is audio and video, so I'm going to kind of explain what we're looking at. What we see is a mat. looks like a big placemat that's got uh, color graphics, and he's touching it and moving... Uh, moving the controls with his finger on the mat, and that's being projected onto it from a projector up above the right. what looks to be the PC monitor. That's right, okay. exactly right. And it is a touch sensitive mat, 20 points of touch down here, 20 more up here. Um, this is just one application of what we feel like is a, um, an environment that lets us develop a lot of different applications in a lot of different commercial areas, and this is one example. I so, can show you some others if you so want. So as a DJ, that's you're, you're doing that DJ stuff where you scratch right. and all back and right. forth on there. I've seen those kids today doing. That's right. um, you could do that on a physical turntable or there are other devices. Right. What's the advantage of doing it on the, the mat like this? Well, this would be easier to transport. Uh, that's one. Also, you could change the configuration of this with the program. Uh, you know, there's things I can do here, like effects. Uh, I can switch the functions by tapping a button here from mixers to effects, for example. Let me show you another, um, oops, another example. So he's quitting the, uh, the DJ application. And he's, he's, again, touching, touching just on the mat. So I'll bring up what's called the Create app. And this gives you an idea of the rich multimedia capability of the product. I'm just going to take some 2D captures. And let's say we're conceptual. got some printer cartridges and some PCBs on here sitting on the mat. That's right. And let's say we're conceptualizing a kind of a new uh, portable printer device. I'm going to tap on the camera icon there and then start a, a 2D snapshot. Uses the projector to illuminate the objects. And then it creates five separate images that go into the gallery and can be used and rearranged. It's now captured, though. Oh my gosh, now the screen has exactly what we were looking at. It not doesn't look like photos, it looks like models. Well, they're actually 2D. I can capture in 3D as well. These are five independent images. And He's I can, dragging them on screen with his fingers on the mat. And I can now annotate them and, for example, say that the yellow one connects to that one and the blue ink cartridge connects to there and the red one connects here. And rearrange, uh, i got to get out of that mode. Uh, I can rearrange and rotate and pinch and zoom. Uh, wow, and that, then, that is incredibly fast, too, what he's I done. If I want to interact with a coworker about a document and the fan, I can go back and touch that again, and it'll pick up those two objects. Take that picture and drop them in. Okay, for the audio listeners, you're going to have to see this. This is amazing. And accept that image, those those captures. And now i got two more objects in the gallery that well, I can... It's still on the same background with yeah. the PCB and the other yeah, ink Yeah, they're all still... And if I, use, if I had another Sprout here, I could demonstrate with that Collaborate button that two people, two to four people, can interact simultaneously on the same design from anywhere in the world and have video and share video of them on this screen and they'd all see this creation and simultaneously edit it with each other. Um, so it's a very powerful creation and collaboration platform. Wow, so uh, Sprout is, this is this entire thing together is called Sprout, the camera, the projector, right. the display, and the mat down below. And That's you right. said it's commercially available now? That's right, Best Buy, $18.99. Wow. The, the other thing to show you is, if you got a second, is 3D capture. So oh, I'll yeah, you keep going, keep going. I'm go loving this. Go back to home, and I'll turn on 3D snapshot. Are you going to do my head now? <laughs> well, so the idea here is um, you have a product idea for a mouse, a computer mouse, that looks like a part of a coffee cup. And I want to show this concept to my coworker, Joanne, in London. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create a 3D capture of this concept. And the scanner will now again use the projector to put, in this case, striped line, a pattern of lines on the object. It will capture, it'll create 3D geometry, it'll take a picture of the texture and add that, map that onto the 3D geometry. So now it's creating that 3D model. 
and let's see what it does here. And there it now, is. He just he just finished taking a picture of the partial coffee cup, and now he's got a 3D model of the coffee cup on the mat that he's dragging around with his finger and rotating. Wow. So now I can interact. I can um, I can actually turn on collaboration. If I had two sprouts, I could demonstrate and we could be looking at this remotely from anywhere in the world. Very cool. Now, is there a reason you did it with a paper coffee cup and not, say, with that fan? You can do it with the fan. Yeah, um, it's just a, it's a, it does a good job of showing the 3D shape. Just, just a, the better way to show it off. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe this is available commercially today. That's very, very cool. Yeah. Now, yeah, very cool. should we keep moving? Sure. So, um, probably We're moving best, down to a different best, device here. The thing to capture here is probably for the camera. Right. That, I'm going mean, to switch you can, with you, Steve. You can split your time between but that shows you what you see with these 3D glasses. And this is, um, this is the HP ZVR display. It's a, it's a high performance 3D display. Um, I am. So, uh, what the, for the listeners, on the left side, we've got a display with a, a pulsing heart that's definitely in 3D, but he's manipulating it with a pen in the air. Right. And, There's that uh, camera. And he's just, on the other display, you can see the heart has come out into space That's and he's right. holding it in his hand That's now. Right. The other display is what I see directly in front of me. Um, so he's got on the 3D glasses so that he can see how he's moving this heart around. Right, and I can make parts of that heart transparent. So if you imagine this was used perhaps for medical education, you can imagine the professor in front of the college classroom uh, being able to turn these parts of the heart transparent and perhaps pick up that camera, if I can do that, and move it inside. And what's inside the heart is shown on that, that screen there, which I can also move and bring it this up. This is impossible to explain in yeah, audio. See that, see that right there? Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's what's seen on this camera. So the camera that he's stuck inside the heart is now displaying that image out on the same display. That's right. So. And what is this called we're looking at? This is ZVR, HP ZVR display. And can you tell us a little bit about how this is created? I see these uh, red lights here. I assume that's triangulating your position in that, 3D space. Those sensors are actually tracking the, my, the glasses that oh. I'm wearing so that, so that the image is actually changing depending on, I can actually look be, around to the side of that house. When I move my head, it redraws it so that I see what's around the outside of that house, if that makes sense to you. Yeah, when we're done recording, you got to let me wear the glasses. All right, I will. So I dropped this house in here, and I can now um, interact with the house, different levels. And I can put a camera path through the, through the house. I need, well, OK. And then I pick up the camera. Oh, i got to get back to the picker tool put the camera on that path, and it will follow that path and display it on that screen. Oh, wow. All right. So <laughs> All right. I think it's a very rich environment. I'm going to cut you off because you have too much fun stuff to show. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks. And, uh, if people want to know more about this, where can they see these products? So Best Buy, they can see Sprout, and HP ZVR, they would want to go to hp.com. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks.